What if I told you money can help you get away with anything? Would you believe me? Here's the story of Hisham Talat Mustafa. He is an Egyptian billionaire. His criminal record is being erased. That's right. Let's tell you what this is all about. In the year 2010, Mustafa was sentenced to prison for 15 years. What for? Take a guess. Murder. The man killed his girlfriend. Her name was Suzanne Tamim. She was a Lebanese singer. Their story started in the year 2004. Suzanne was trying to divorce her then husband and Mustafa helped her get the divorce. The two eventually started dating. Mustafa was already married. He wanted, Suz he wanted Suzanne to be his second wife. But Mustafa's mother opposed the marriage. The two broke up. That's what he claims. The real story appears to be very different. Suzanne had once said that Mustafa had proposed to her and she refused to marry him. The two parted ways. She moved to London and then Dubai. Mustafa, on the other hand, did not move on. The refusal left him with a sour taste. He hired a hitman in Dubai, paid him $2 million to kill Suzanne. And that hitman found Suzanne at a Dubai hotel and slit her throat. This happened in 2008. Suzanne was all of 30 years old. And what followed is a classic case of how the moneyed often used their power, their influence to escape the law. Hisham Talat Mustafa is no ordinary man, by the way. He was an associate of former Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak's son, Gamal, also a senior member of uh, Egypt's National Democratic Party. Mustafa is a billionaire. Forbes ranks him 45th in its top 100 travel and tourism leaders. The man owns the Four Seasons Hotels in Sharm El Sheikh, Cairo and Alexandria. That is how moneyed he is. The murder case gripped uh, the country. There were protests across West Asia. In fact, the UAE wanted to try him, but Egypt refused to extradite Mustafa. In 2009, an Egyptian court sentenced Mustafa to death. This conviction was quashed within a year. There was a retrial and the billionaire was handed 15 years in jail. And the same year, the hitman, Egyptian police officer Mohsen al sokari was sentenced to 25 years in jail. In the year 2020, al sokari was granted clemency by the Egyptian president. Mustafa walked out of prison way before that. He was granted a presidential pardon on health grounds in the year 2017. And now, a Cairo criminal court has granted his request for name clearing. What is name clearing, you ask? It is when a person's name is cleared from public records. Basically, a clean slate. Mustafa could afford to buy this clean slate. His money and influence ensured that he got away with murder. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.